rising. As you can see. The wind was steady all night last night. So it was a beautiful night. Yeah. The first few days were a little hard. Yeah. I feel I feel good now. I feel at peace. I feel antsy. So the first few days, I get a, I, I typically get a little queasy anyway from the motion of the boat. Uh, but then I adjust and I'm good to go. Squid on squid. If that doesn't catch a fish, I don't know what will. Mexico City. Today, Day three. Tuna will show me to Spanish and I'll be jamming in for contact. You can Tres see dias. Back and listen again. Today, and then Mar. Only on five more to go. Beautiful day out here. Estoy en Espanol, but locals find plenty to do here. That doesn't catch the fish. I don't know what. brought it up together. It lost a lot of its color as soon as it came out of the water. But it was so bright. It's like the brightest colors. I wish we got it on film. It's so beautiful. What a special fish. Poor guy. We're gonna eat good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your life, beautiful fish. What a beautiful what a beautiful creature, huh? How special. Try to make it sashimi. It's kind of tough to eat though. I don't know. We'll have to look into it. Maybe I cut the wrong part or something. But it's kind of tough. It's still pretty delicious. It has good flavor. It's very fresh. Yeah. It's really fresh and tasty. But it's a lot kind of more like, like chewy. Kind of sinewy. Yeah. We cook it. Cooked, the Dorado was absolutely delicious and fed us for days to come. Is this supposed to die down at all? Yeah. Um, it might continue for the first bunch of the night. This was only our second ever multi day passage. We'd always read it took many days to reach that mystical offshore sailor state of being. There is a beauty and rhythm that takes form. The repeating nature in the waves, the lulling motion of the boat, coupled with the irregular, often deprived sleep schedules, and our little floating world slips into a dimension of its own. Time changes, 
the clock loses significance, and the days are no longer measured in minutes and hours, but sunrises and sunsets, light and dark. It feels as though, with the four of us taking care of each other, Ali, Eloise, Spy, and I could continue sailing like this for eternity. Rolling yesterday picked up quite a lot and it was very frustrating to get even just the simplest of things done like getting dressed or going to the bathroom or cooking Erin is always so sweet and takes one for the team and cooks us food because I have a really hard time cooking when we're super rolly and choppy and I get sick so Going on day five. Hopefully, we might stop in Bahia Santa Maria. That would be really nice. We were continually watching the weather as we sailed closer to La Paz, and we saw a potential window to stop in a southern bay, Bahia Santa Maria, and see some of the wilderness of Baja's west coast. We hoped the forecast would hold true and we would be able to stop and still make it to La Paz to meet our friend on the 20th. But it was still too early to tell. Bahia Santa Maria was some 48 hours away, and La Paz another 380 miles beyond that. And so, we sailed. Sundowners, sunset, barely any wind, just drifting along. All right. Good morning. Just completed night five. We had a bit of a run in with a cruise ship four in the morning. I saw a light off to our port side. It just kind of looked like a fishing vessel. It didn't look like anything that crazy. So I tried to divert course, but then our AIS alarm went off. It started getting pretty close to us. So I went down below, looked at what they were. They were not a fishing vessel. It was the Disney Wonder cruise ship going 20 knots over ground, <laughs> which is insanely fast. It's very fast, especially for such a large vessel. Don't want to be anywhere near anything going that fast. So anyways, I woke Aaron up and um, we decided the best decision would be to uh, pull the sail in, turn the motor on, and this motor as far away from it as possible. We also radioed them to let them know that we were out there. Uh, they said that they saw us. I think because I changed course, we looked a little bit erratic, so they couldn't figure out 
what we were doing, but at the end of the day, we made the right call to turn on the motor and um, just get out of there. So, glad we also radioed them. They saw us and all was well. But I definitely got a little stressed out. Just imagine a huge tanker looking city coming at you and run you down and kill you. So. sunglasses are and the way the wind is blowing it back it looks like you have a like a mullet <laughs> so good <laughs> day six uh night five. six day five night six day five take one <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning we're about to enter bahia santa maria we don't do this as a rule entering an anchorage at night but the conditions are perfect. Conditions. The conditions. The conditions are perfect. Uh, the bay is seven miles wide, opening at the entrance, and we have a full moon. So if there's a bay and a night to do it, this is probably the one. We're still being very cautious. We're approaching really slowly. Between the point of wide berth. We're still five miles off. Bahia Santa Maria. Oh, got here at four in the morning this morning after six nights at sea. And it feels so good to stop and take a rest and be warm. Look how beautiful it is. It feels very surreal to be here. I'm talking about doing this for the past 10 years. Hard work paid off. This is amazing. We can't spend too much time here because we still got to make it to La Paz by next week. But, uh, oh, feels good to catch up on some sleep and just relax in this warm, glorious weather. Get to see some of this Baja Peninsula. Do we make it? And it was just in Mexico. She made it. She's been taking sun baths this morning. 
and then coming back inside all warm and like jello. She's so happy. Mm -hmm. We were going to try to go to the shore or the beach. Sketchy, so I don't think we're gonna do that. out now the weather has changed on us a little bit so we're headed off a little earlier than we expected the winds are gonna turn on us on the 14th which is four days from now they're gonna turn to some headwinds and probably too choppy to go up the Sea of Cortez so if we get out early enough we can beat those winds and get up to La Paz all right holidays that we we're going to come pick up, go pick up and clean up the boat, get ready for her and uh, we're excited to get back out offshore and catch another fish and be in the warm beautiful weather. Tortilla chips in my teeth. <laughs> Amazing how beautifully. Woo! 